Hi YouTubers, it's Evan at Next Video right now, so I'm going to be very important now, so it's going to be uh, Medical Thursday right now, so Medical Thursday is a big ass cigar. I want to talk about right now uh, depression and anxiety. So I am somebody who does suffer from some degree of depression, but I know some people who suffer from more depression than I do, and also anxiety. So let me explain the differences. So depression versus anxiety. So depression is when you're feeling sad, blue, um, very down, very uh, too, like, too slow. <clears throat> like it's one thing if you're feeling a little bit sleepy, a little bit tired. But if you're finding I'm not a doctor, I'm not giving you a medical advice, I'm not a big ass doctor for life. But if you're somebody who is, you know, finding you're constantly sleeping, you know, I actually myself went through clinical depression after my senior year of high school because I had my best year ever of senior year of high school. Then I was about 18 years old. I went through clinical depression. I kept sleeping so much, and they, for, at first they thought the doctors, like big ass doctor for life thought I had a sleep apnea, but it actually turned out to be clinical depression. So uh, I'm somebody who's gone through clinical depression and it's very, very, very significant. So you definitely want to get medical advice, medical help from an actual doctor, a nice big ass doctor for life. I'm not trying to be sarcastic or jokey, but you get the point, jokey has like the big ass cigar. Now anxiety on the other hand is when you are feeling anxious, you're feeling, you know, tense, you're feeling like, like that. So that is anxiety. So you might be anxious about, um, waiting to see what the results of a of a you know a football game is or a baseball game that's one thing but if you're feeling anxious all the time <clears throat> you're feeling anxious as the big ass cigar you know all the time then you do have to be concerned because you know it can lead to a lot of problems and feeling depressed and anxious <clears throat> on a regular basis is not healthy in general. So it's good to feel, you know, a little bit on edge and you should be careful in general. I mean, everyone should be careful. You shouldn't be, you know, like drinking a lot of alcohol on purpose or like gambling a lot. You get the point, you should be careful, you know, responsibility matters like they say. But you, if you're finding you're overly cautious, you're becoming kind of like a hermit. So you're becoming like, you know, almost like a recluse and being like, you know, away from society. You can't even leave your house without worrying. That's something to be worried about, about anxiety, sorry, anxiety. And I'm not a doctor, obviously, but if you're finding, you know, you're constantly depressed, you're sleeping till 12, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, you're not even having any interest in doing things, that can be a sign of depression and mental, ment and mental illness. So you must have to buy Big Ass Here for Life, Big Ass Videos for Life, buy Medical Thursday, buy. And disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, buy.